Okay, in this video I'm going to go over how to make a motion diagram or a motion map from a position time graph. So, I'm going to make a position time graph that looks like this. Something that's kind of hard. So, this is 5 meters and it took 4 seconds to happen. So, this person went 5 meters in 4 seconds. So, I'm going to start my initial position is right here at 0 so I'm going to put my first dot at zero meters. That's where I start. There has to be a dot where you start. So at five meters, that's the end. See in this one, it's not evenly spaced. So if I look here at time one second and one meter, this line doesn't intersect at that point right there. So I can't just come over here and put a dot at one meter. So I'm going to do this from beginning to end. So I know that in four seconds right here, I traveled five meters. So I'm going to put my last dot at five meters. And I know that in between there was one, two, three. So I need to go from zero to one, one to two, two to three, three to four. So I know that I should have three dots somewhere in here. I'm just going to evenly space them. So I'll put you know maybe one right here in the middle and then one here and then one here because I know that they have to be evenly spaced because this slope right here is a constant slope so there's my dots so here's from zero to one second here's from one to two seconds from two to three seconds from three to four seconds so it took four seconds to go five meters all right, so a bit of an easier one this time. Let's say I have a position time graph that looks like this. That's close enough. <laughs> okay, so in this one, the person started at five meters, and then it took five seconds to get back to zero. So in this case, when I'm starting, this person didn't start at zero over here, my first dot goes at five meters and then it took him five seconds to get there so if you notice I didn't draw this the greatest but if he's going five meters in five seconds that slope is one so after one second he should be at four meters and after two seconds he should be at three meters and after three he should be at two and after four so on so forth so I know that at each second he's gonna be a meter closer to zero so this time I can do my dots at every meter because I can tell that from the graph. So there's my five dots and there's my vectors filled in to show. Notice I'm doing my arrows all the way to the next dot. You have to fill in that line. So notice how this looks a lot smaller than the ones we did before because now he's going about a meter per second. Before he traveled five meters in four seconds. And also notice that this slope is negative because it's going from five down to zero. All right, I'm gonna give you one to try first and then you can check yourself. So let's say it looks like this first, four meters in four seconds, and then stand still. And then let's say it goes back four meters in two seconds. So why don't you go ahead and think about what you think it would look like and then I'll come back on here. Why don't you pause this and then I'll come back and I'll put the answers in. So think about what you think the motion diagram would look like. Pause it. Yes, pause it. Don't just sit there and wait for me to give you the answer. Think about it. What do you think it would be? Did you pause it? Did you try it? Are you talking to your computer? <laughs> All right. So it went four meters in four seconds. So the first one start here and it went to four meters and I can four meters in four seconds the slope is one so I know that every second he traveled a meter. So there'd be my first one. And then I know that he stood still for two seconds. So from four to five right there and then from five to six it was still. So from four to five I'll put a dot there, 
and then from five to six, I'll put it dot there. And this is going to start to look ugly, but you'll live. And then from six to eight, he went back four meters, but it only took two seconds. So we're going to go back to zero, but it's only going to take two seconds. So if you notice right here, that's where it intersects, and that's at seven seconds. So he covered two meters in seven seconds, which would go right there. And then the eighth second, he covered another two more meters. So like that, like that. Bam.